I will show you how to add files to your GitHub repositories in this tutorial. Let's get started. Currently, we do not have any public repositories. Let's create one by clicking the plus button. Name your repository. Create repository. As you can see, we have no files yet, so let's add one. Create a new folder and name it as you wish. I will be using Commander, but you can also use Git Bash. The git init command creates a new git repository. It can be used to convert an existing, unversioned project to a git repository or initialize a new, empty repository. Most other git commands are not available outside of an initialized repository, so this is usually the first command you'll run in a new project. To set your git username, run the git config global user.name command. You should specify both your first and last name but your username can be anything you want to attach to your commits. Your Git username does not need to be the same as your version control username, such as the one you use on GitHub. Git config global user.email The touch command is the easiest way to create new, empty files. In review, git add is the first command in a chain of operations that directs git to save a snapshot of the current project state, into the commit history. The git commit command captures a snapshot of the project's currently staged changes. Committed snapshots can be thought of as safe versions of a project. Git will never change them unless you explicitly ask it to. These two commands git commit and git add are two of the most frequently used. What does git remote add origin do? When you clone a repository with git clone, it automatically creates a remote connection called origin pointing back to the cloned repository. This is useful for developers creating a local copy of a central repository, since it provides an easy way to pull up stream changes or publish local commits. Git push you origin master is used for pushing local content to GitHub. In the code, the origin is your default remote repository name and you flag is upstream which is equivalent to set upstream. And the master is the branch name. Your account can be accessed through your browser or through a token, but I will use a token to log in. I'll show you how to get a token, but first go to GitHub. Go to settings. And then developer settings. Then personal access tokens. Generate new token. Select expiration. Generate token. Copy it.
Let's check it out, if it's working. Nice, now our file is here. I will now show you how to delete or clean everything. Thank you for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe.